you talk about me going and reviewing the product that I want and maybe giving you time to maybe giving myself time to get what I want from the given list that makes us pop the question is your product really efficient when it comes to time management that is time management when you're on the platform right yeah so what we've done is uh, we've looked at uh, a, a person yeah. uh, actually we were thinking of what youths go through when they go through the platform mm -hmm. and at times they don't have time yeah yeah but there are platforms where they are always live at mm -hmm. so within my big order what we've done is on every product you see mm -hmm. there is a chat platform you mm -hmm. can chat and ask about that product mm -hmm. that is on whatsapp you're also able to do a live uh, WhatsApp, a live Skype call, mm -hmm. uh, just to see the product, mm -hmm. and you can also do a call. You can do a live call. Mm -hmm. and so these are actions before you before you place your order. Apart from that, we've implemented a very interesting feature, which mm -hmm. is called Shop for Me. Mm -hmm. So this is somebody who just says, "I have this budget. I need this phone. Get it for me from the best supplier in Kenya." Mm -hmm. So what we'll do on my big order, and we have a very large team working 24 hours a day. So we have the night team and the day team. So what we'll do is when you just say shop for me, tell us which product you have, tell us your budget. We'll mm -hmm. go back to the merchants, ask them for to give us the best rates. Then we'll come back to you with the best rates. And that we've seen really work a lot, mm -hmm. especially for Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I can talk to Eunice. She's a lady, she might understand uh, the issue of protection of the customer and maybe privacy of the customer. Mm -hmm. What happens when credentials like um, the MasterCard or Visa are used. How how are you protective? How guaranteed is the pro the buyer's information guaranteed? Okay, so that comes to your data security. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that my big order we do before you place an order, mm -hmm. we actually we as is mentioned, we give you 24 hours for you to view the product. We hold the money until the merchant gets it after 24 hours, mm -hmm. and once the payment is done, you you. Are your details are left with us and the merchant because you know if you're placing an order, I'm placing an order on mybigoda.com and maybe I want a website from Oracle. Mm -hmm. And that Oracle is the only person or the only merchant who is allowed to have my contacts as units. So definitely there is a privacy. And one of the things we look at is privacy online because you see so much data. Once your data gets exposed on the internet, you're pruned to getting spammed with a lot of ads, getting your, once your content is outside, mm -hmm. definitely, these are some of the risks you undergo. But as at my big order, one thing is we protect the merchant, we also protect the customer. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's talk about customer relations. <laughs> I'm on Alphonse's case because he's the founder of the app. Yeah. Now, do you like give your customers bonuses, yeah. for instance? Yeah, we, we really love customers, by the way. <laughs> and uh, the main reason for that is why we reward them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the reward is uh, just like an NGO. You know, like if somebody asks you, like, how many times in a year mm -hmm. you do charity yourself, mm -hmm. either as a charmer, like, do you visit the children's home, mm -hmm. for example? Mm -hmm. So, what we do uh, within my big order is we encourage, like, social people to be social, but at, at the same time, they be giving and they be participating in things that make them so happy. Mm -hmm. Because let's say it's a family and we decide, let every member of the family go to my big order shop. Mm -hmm. So we are shopping for everything, shopping for the, 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 the Omo, we are buying everything on the platform, all our phones, and then at the end of the month, we are putting them all up together, mm -hmm. okay? So the customer gets so happy. So what we do within my big order, uh, is that we always want to collect these stories, mm -hmm. yeah. And even this coming Saturday, we have an open day where we are bringing all customers to share their stories. Mm -hmm. And it's always very interesting when a customer comes, they meet the same brands that they always love, mm -hmm. they meet the driver who just del made a delivery, mm -hmm. and they also meet the My Bigoda team, which all is right. a team of more than 45 people. So, do you pay for the deliveries? Yeah, the customer at times can decide to pay for the deliveries, but they are also because we use the geofencing, mm -hmm. uh, basically. You, you just locate for you the nearest person. So at times it's a very short distance, mm -hmm. which means the delivery is free. All right. Maybe with regards to your experience at the Lions Den, uh, the Lions Den. Den. <laughs> 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 uh, 
maybe you can give us as young people maybe advice us on how to pitch for the first time yeah. uh, a business idea yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think uh, the last day for the first time we got the call to be at the den you know mm -hmm. it was just like lions mm -hmm. so it looked like you're going to meet the lions mm -hmm. yeah so me and Eunice, we had to spend time watching like the the judges or the lions like who are they what are their personalities mm -hmm. because you have to look for someone and target them mm -hmm. basically you don't just go to present uh, without knowing who you wanted so for us we had two people two investors we really wanted mm -hmm. there's one we wanted for the technology part of it mm -hmm. and there's one we wanted because he had a very large network mm -hmm. of uh, merchants so we went for these people but uh, i think the process is always very is very complicated. I think it took us around four y four months right. just for the verification. Mm. Yeah, and then uh, uh, of course it's always important that you keep your records because the first thing they ask for is the due diligence in terms of your numbers and which businesses have you done before, so things like that. But the process was very, it was very interesting, mm -hmm. but also very, you know, we we were really not sure whether we'd get someone. Ah, <laughs> yeah. all right. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about the pre-pitch pitching and the after pitching yeah. process. Mm. Uh, While well you're there at the back door and you're thinking we have two, three <laughs> minutes to go, <laughs> what was going through your your mind? Eunice, maybe you can give us that account. Is Whoa. it like uh, in the exam room where you you start thinking of what you read? You start like oh. talking aloud of what your friends told you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So let me mention one thing. I think the night before we had to really prepare. Mm -hmm. We had to make sure we were well branded, number one. We also had to make sure that evening we have our numbers right. As is mentioned, have your numbers right. Mm -hmm. Understand your business in and out. Mm -hmm. So one thing is when you are called up. So first of all, we went, we just demo, did a demo. Then we went to the back. And definitely when the green light just rang, we just have to go for it. You cannot mess up. You cannot think of what you are not cramming. You just have to have the passion for your business. Mm -hmm. And I think as you're walking down, once you step on one stairs, you say, I have to get this. And you have to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, the interesting bit is that the lions are there. You're here. Yeah, exactly. So definitely you have no choice not to pitch your mm -hmm. business. You have to show your business solves a kind, certain kind of need. It's meeting a certain kind of a market. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think during the pitch, they were very keen on what we, was, we were uttering of how long have we started, mm -hmm. what has been mm -hmm. the journey, mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what makes us think that maybe God is the next big thing. Yeah, exactly. Another thing they, all even, they even wanted to know a lot mm -hmm. is what are your numbers do you have a team behind this so having a team is really good because if somebody places an order right now or even late in the evening at two we are sure you'll get your delivery and i think standing there was i think we just had to go for it you cannot think of what you're reading you just have to think of what is ahead and you also one thing you you are you're actually anxious to hear the questions exactly. you know these are the questions from an investor mm -hmm. so you'll expect left right center kind of questions and mm. these are not the normal questions because mm. for somebody to invest in your business or for somebody to invest in mybigoda.com mm. they have to see worth out of it all right so has business been uh in you from way back or it just came because your idea uh -huh. <laughs> your you pitched the big my big god idea and it actually did good Okay, so I have to mention one thing. Huh? With business, business has to be a part of you, number one. Mm -hmm. Another thing, you have to meet a need. You have to meet, meet a market. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, business comes to you. But remember, there has to be consistency. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is, under mybegoda.com, we had a team of very young people. Very young. I think we, we have as young as 20. Mm -hmm. Or people who just cleared university. Or somebody who is still in the university and they are under attachment. And the way we work, one of the things you need to know is we do a lot of mentorship programs. Mm -hmm. So you're introduced to how to pitch. So by the time you go face the lions, you already know what is pitching. How do I stand in front of a prospective mm -hmm. client and get this and get this service to this client and make sure this service is delivered mm -hmm. and this client is happy this client mm -hmm. is only happy if they see results mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So that is one thing. So under mybigoda.com, it's been a journey. So I I'll have to say that it's not, we did not just appear on mybigoda, by the way. We've mm -hmm. been doing that for a period of time, a very huge, and we've been with a very big team that mm -hmm. does this. And one of the things is going to pitch, I think was just the icing on the cake now. All right, maybe Alphonse, talk to us about the challenges that you've had in the in the sector so far. Have you guys experienced like uh, loss of money uh, while you are carrying out your services in? I think one of the most painful things that we've gone through as a company mm -hmm. is um, there was a time uh, uh, the rent. Yeah, there was a time we we were subletted. Yeah, so when we were there, we didn't know that the person who was subletting us yeah. was not paying the rent. Mm -hmm. So as we would pay our part, then they were not paying. So one day auctioneers just came mm -hmm. and our office was auctioned. And that's how like we spent time crying. And that was an entire <laughs> team. You can imagine the embarrassment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was yeah, that after the, li the, the, the Lions then or before? No, that was in 2015, mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that really helped us, by the way, because mm -hmm. we realized that now for you to get an office, because as a young person, as a startup, you have to think about an office. Mm -hmm. uh, clients would want to come and meet you in your office so that they know you are a con man or you're serious or not. Yeah, so we learned that, that we have to do that correctly. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing also that uh, we've seen, especially uh, managing a team, like just putting up young people and having them work together. Mm -hmm. At times it's not very easy, especially with this generation. Mm -hmm. You know, we are a very digital generation, so mm -hmm. we consume a lot. So putting up a team has also been a challenge. But what we do with that is we get people who, who, who are ready for mentorship, people mm -hmm. who are ready to learn, mm -hmm. and then we get them learning. Yeah, and another challenge we've seen, and I think this also is for the government, like the support that you'd get is very minimal. Mm -hmm. Like you can imagine, in some countries, you know, they would give you they would give you a lot of like mentor mentorship sessions mm -hmm. where somebody would work with you, like would tell you like at this stage you need to be doing your books like this, at this stage you need to this is how you need to run the company. Yeah, mm -hmm. so such things we didn't get them, but we decided now to just do it on our own, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's how we've been able to do a lot of things here. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for coming. Maybe before we wind up, your last word to any young man, any young lady that is out there, they are willing to be part of online shopping and maybe also be innovators to come up with other apps. Okay, so if you're a business person or you're young, you've already, you've seen ideas from people who've even graduated from universities. Mm -hmm. I would even urge you, go for it, do it. Ask, ask, seek mentorship. It's really good because those people have made mistakes before you and they'll save you a whole lot of mistakes you may make. Mm -hmm. It's a learning curve, I repeat. Nothing is easy, everything is worth a step, but as you do everything, please consider technology in mind. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things is, you see so many businesses, so many companies, who have been in the industry for so long mm -hmm. get to lag behind because you did not keep up with the trends. Mm -hmm. So we insist on that a lot. And one of the things is, if you feel like I have a company, you don't know where to start from, just go to mybigoda.com, get an OPT test, do that online presence test. Mm -hmm. Once you do it, you can even know where, where do I stand as a company or as, as a brand mm -hmm. or as a business person. Mm -hmm. Do your analysis right. Always, I say the difficult part is starting. Just start with mm -hmm. whatever you have, mm -hmm. with support or with no support. Mm -hmm. Right research, right mentorship, and just kicking off mm -hmm. is the way forward. And one of the things is the youths are coming up with more and more vibrant ideas. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. And coming with the digital age, challenges are coming in and technology is solving them mm -hmm. instantly. Mm -hmm. So I'd insist, just get on start. Mm -hmm. And as my big other team, we started and yeah, we're actually doing great so far. Mm -hmm. Alphonse, your final words? Yeah, uh, I would say money is not the main thing mm -hmm. in business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like for us, right now we are a large team, but we started in Kayole. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the people can't, but there was a time when we would run, you know, walk from Kayole to Donom just mm -hmm. to get the train oh. to town. Yeah, and our company also, like we've been to a cyber cafe, we could not afford the computers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we believed a lot mm -hmm. that growing a company organically is what is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us and even the team that we work with, we really work hard. Mm -hmm. We actually put a lot of hours on work. Like there's some people in the team who I know at the moment mm -hmm. who by eight, when people are reporting, they have already covered a whole day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we put up different cultures. Like when somebody scores in the office, we have the bell where we, which we ring. If somebody comes late, mm -hmm. we have a 
Kofia, which we call the God of Honor. <laughs> okay. So you're honoring the team. So mm-hmm. I can urge people, uh, especially when it comes to digital, let's try and mix things as well mm-hmm. and then work very hard because it's very important. And growing a company organically is very important. Mm-hmm. Why? Because even without money, you know, my big order still can proceed because we have the team, we have the energy, and we have uh, we have the urge. Mm-hmm. So that's very, very important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So thank you guys for coming. Yes. So much and great insights from you. For you, it's put effort in what you do. Yes. <laughs> Never give up. Yes. Alphonse still insists that money is not like the issue here. Yes, it's <laughs> like money is not, I can tell you for free. Mm-hmm. And hard work just pays for free. All right, thank you guys for coming. That has been Alphonse Juma, founder of my big uh, order up and Eunice Nyambura, digital marketing strategist at my big app. Thank you so much for joining me tonight.